Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Utam Macross tutorial video with me. Since Dana introduced brand new content during the Utam Macross SP broadcast during the new year, uh, I apologize firsthand that I did not do a summary video regarding that uh, broadcast, uh, mainly because a lot of. Um, well, life has been busy, let's put it as that. Anyway, guys. Um, since this is one of the few major updates that Dana will be implementing to uh, the game, uh, this is the very first one, which is what they introduced in the Utah Macross SP, which is Valkyrie Tune Up. So, if you guys have updated the game ever since the uh, patch um, today, on the 30th of January 2019, uh, as of Japan time, 4 o'clock. So 4 p.m. in the afternoon, um, you would have probably noticed a few things being introduced to you, which is Valkyrie Tune Up. So what is Valkyrie Tune Up? Let's take a look at the Utahime tab. Under Utahime tab, you can see that the, the blank space is now filled up with Valkyrie Tune Up. So what was introduced during the SP broadcast was basically now you are capable of upgrading your Valkyries to help improve your gameplay um, during the lives. That you play the event songs and all that um, during the Valkyrie attack phase so you can improve your stats on your Valkyrie to help you maybe uh, get an easier chance of activating Cho Utahime mode. So now during the whole process of um, Valkyrie tune up uh, researching uh, I actually did a bit of uh, looking around before I made this video just want to make sure I give you guys all the proper information the Valkyries do not gain the exact same kind of skill upgrades. So each plane has their own special kind of skills. So let's take a look at um, the skills that some of these Valkyries have. Um, I will leave images here. I'll, I'll probably put two. Two sample images of these Valkyries with the particular skills. Now you can actually go through all the different Valkyries from each generation and they will come up with different skills. I will definitely do a, um, a whole skill chart like the ones that I've just shown you and I will upload them to Macross Spacetime Day Culture. So guys, if you are not following us on Macross Spacetime Day Culture, the Facebook group, I highly recommend you to do so. The link is in the description down below. Make sure you answer the questionnaires to uh, get yourself administered into the group itself. The admins and, and well, the admins of the group, um, especially myself, uh, we are very particular on this because if you guys don't answer the questionnaires, we will definitely decline your request to join the group. Um, we want to make sure that everybody plays actively um, in a role of making the group grow in terms of um, reactions or um, I would say performance or maybe even view counts. Uh, on the group itself. So guys, help us do that by just answering the, uh, the questionnaires. They are they are in three different languages. We have English, we have Spanish, we have um, Chinese as well. So I apologize uh, beforehand to all my um, Spanish-speaking friends who love Macross, especially those in Uta Macross Chile. I apologize that I can't do these videos in Spanish because I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> but my brother Orlando, who does post on Uta Macross Chile, he does translate all the information that I usually share to Spanish to you guys. So thank you Orlando uh, for doing such a wonderful job for the Spanish community. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you go through all the four different generations, um, the main TV generations, uh, you will notice that each of the Valkyries, like I mentioned earlier, have different set of skills. So. I will not go too deep into what the skills do right now. In fact, uh, just give yourself some time um, to to let me at least uh, build up the whole set of list <laughs> and Valkyries that are related to them. Uh, make sure that I don't, you know, um, end up giving you the wrong kind of information. So stay tuned on Macross Space Time Day Culture for all that info. Anyway, guys, let's take a look at the tab here. You notice that below the Macross Delta tab, there is a shadow tab called Others. Well, mainly because the upcoming event for Uta Macross is from Macross Plus, which is the second very big news that the SP broadcast um, showcased. 
So Macross Plus is the first side Macross series that is being implemented into Utah Macross. Um, my guess is why that Macross Plus doesn't get its own hat is because Macross Plus probably didn't have that many songs as compared to the main TV series. Macross Plus was mainly focused on dog fighting, which is the plane fighting scenarios. So that's why there weren't that many songs for Macross Plus. Um, they did have a CD album, but I guess there were not that many songs on it as well as compared to Macross Frontier and Macross Delta. Macross Frontier and Macross Delta had the most songs as compared from the four main TV series, uh, Choji Kyo, Sai Macross and Macross 7. Macross 7 did have more songs than the first generation, but still not as much as Frontier and Delta. So anyway guys, how do you upgrade your Valkyries? Which is very very good question. Um, there is a new item implemented into uh, Utah Macross as of this time, which is this one. As you can see, it's uh, basically a mechanic seal. Uh, is it seal? Yeah, it's, self, it's spelled seal. So, okay, um, a mechanic seal. This item, however, is not used for anything else except for upgrading your Valkyrie. There were many other items shown in the image here um, within the SP broadcast earlier in this year um, there, there seem to be four different kinds or no, three different kinds of gears that are uh, beside this mechanic seal um, that you can obtain to use upgrade your Valkyrie sadly to say they have not been implemented into the game just yet because Dana decided to up, uh, update this game gradually so that players do not wear themselves out from too, too little things being implemented so yeah uh, at this point of time, on the 30th of January 2019, since Valkyrie tune-up has been implemented, you can only upgrade your Valkyries to VOP level 1. What do I mean by VOP level 1? Basically, your Valkyrie skills can only be upgraded to level 1. Um, as of the image I showed earlier, okay, the Valkyrie operation level um, you can, or rather the Valkyrie's level. Let's let's put it as tune up level, okay? We we will just generically call it tune up level. Your Valkyrie's tune up level can go to a maximum of level five, as shown in the image. Um, sadly to say, as of this update, you can only do so for until level one. So yeah, and from this look or this menu here, uh, you you require hundred pieces of those mechanic seals to upgrade your Valkyrie to level one. So. Um, how do you actually get, obtain these seals? Well, let's say it's gonna be a very big daily grind. So what do I mean by that? Let's take a look at Valkyrie operations. These seals can only be obtained through Valkyrie operations. And here's an interesting thing. These seals can only be gotten through the daily Valkyrie operations and I mean daily means these this particular tab if I were to go through this list because I have already cleared them and this list or rather the weekly list is for this week only we haven't crossed to the next week so I don't really know whether the weekly list will actually contain the seal um, for the following week so we have to see um, when the week comes uh, but for daily, the dailies are the ones that give the seal as of the update since it's in the, after, uh, the evening. Um, the Valkyrie operations in the evening contain these items already um, and they are at a fixed number. These quantities cannot be increased as the item is within the list of fixed items. The ones with the question marks are random. You can increase the quantity by maybe getting a great success. However, the seals are under the fixed quantity list, so therefore you cannot get more even though you get great success. I hope you get that, uh, understand what I mean. Uh, then for the Utahime Valkyrie operations, sadly to say, I even powered up Basara to every single level just to see whether the, the Diva operations actually give the seal. Sadly to say, all the difficulty levels of the diva operations do not give the seal so guys please take note of that um do take note that every day you only have a certain amount of daily valkyrie operations make sure you grind all the all the valkyrie operations available within the daily 
to get the maximum quantity of the uh the seals available for your valkyrie tune-up so guys this is pretty much all i have to say for valkyrie tune-up um the skills of the valkyrie do change the gameplay quite a bit um if you guys um have already read up the um the images that i posted on my cross space time the culture uh, if you're watching this video late you probably might have seen those images already but if you have seen this video before those images come out what i mean by change in play for uh, for valkyrie operations if you recall valkyrie operations require you to send out a team of valkyries in order um, to complete them and probably get a chance of great success well let me show you by example right now for one of them if i were to go into the valkyrie tune-up okay here we go i'm just going to show you one valkyrie okay and that is milane's milane's valkyrie and we're going to take a look at milane's valkyrie uh tune-up skill all right so this particular skill for milane's basically what does it read during Valkyrie operation, when you have her plane in the leader position, leader position means the very first Valkyrie in the team, the chance of great success is increased by 5% up. So with that read, you can tell where I'm heading uh, in the direction that Valkyrie operation, the team positioning is now very, very crucial. So guys, once I've released all the skills um, regarding the Valkyries, please read through them. It's going to be a very critical point in terms of where you place your Valkyries within your team and which um, generation of Valkyries are within that team itself. I can have um, all three slots with three different generations so that I can cover a vast variety of Valkyrie operations at any time possible. Um, and of course, making sure that all the Valkyrie's tune-up skills are fully effective um, when it comes to getting that great success. So guys, hopefully all this information has been very, very useful to you. I know it is uh, because when I discovered all these things myself, I was quite shocked. <laughs> um, yeah, so the game has gotten a lot more interesting uh, and a bit more complicated but not too difficult to an extent where even um you know beginners of such mobile gaming cannot understand it's not as difficult as certain games i guess uh, if you guys have played um kingdom hearts union cross or maybe uh, fgo uh, where fusing your cards and medals that kind of stuff character cards um those those are really really complex um, Utha Macross is definitely not that level of difficult um, so that's why it is still very enjoyable because the game is not that well mind-blowing in terms of what can I do what should I do did I do something wrong that kind of thing so anyway <laughs> guys thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, do let me know if this has been helpful to you by hitting the like button if it hasn't been helpful at all you know which button to hit uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet and i'll see you guys in the next full time across tutorial video until then bye